BMF. Mm -hmm. I've been watching it since season one. Mm -hmm. I'm a Stars fan because of 50 Cent's. Same here. His investment into himself and created all these magnificent shows and yeah. these verticals. Yeah. That's the only reason why I watch Stars. Yeah. It's because of the stars that have come through this franchise and how it's expanded and introduced us to all of these different actors and actresses. And it, it makes you curious about who are these people playing these roles? Who are these people playing Nicole Flannery? <laughs> who is this person? It makes you go back, back into time. And when you do your research, it's something to be said about people who put in a one year or some people put in five years or some people put in over 10 years at their craft. And when they do that, they reach a whole nother level of mastery. All right. This isn't just aesthetic. You can't do what she's done since the age of five and not be dedicated and committed. You can't do what she's done standing next to the likes of Don Cheadle and ow, Denzel ow, Washington ow, and ow. not walk away better than you were when you first started. Ow, ow. You cannot do the things that she's done when she was in secret headquarters. You cannot do the things that she's done. This young lady has went through a lot of challenges. Landing roles from an early age that really kind of develops your emotional intelligence and learns that if you really committed and dedicated to your craft, whether somebody sees your purpose in that moment or not, they might not hire you for a role, but that doesn't mean that you weren't meant for it. It, right. meant, it, it means you was meant to do something else. Mm. And maybe you'll land on a role like she did on this popular show called BMF. Wanted to have this young lady on the show because I enjoy her craft. Welcome the one and only Layla Pruitt. It's here. Layla. Layla. Sway in the morning. Layla, Layla, Layla Pruitt. Layla Pruitt. Hey. That intro, that was one of the best intros I've ever got. Layla Pruitt, that's from the heart. Period. You saw me freestyle that? Nice. That was off the top of the head. That was too good. Come on. And I know you got bars. <laughs> I feel it. Hold on now, because don't put me on the spot now. I, I, I'm, my craft is acting. I don't know. I don't know about Act like you got bars, Layla. I know you sing, Layla. I know you're a singer. Um, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll break out with some Dr. Seuss. I don't know. Well, this is what I say. You know, because I, I watch your work, and you, it, congratulations to you on all your success. Thank you so much. It's not an easy business. No. No. This woman right here is the first person to ever come out of hip hop culture and be on a TV series called Real World. Yeah. And she say that, say that. And how many <laughs> how many years did it go did you audition before you were finally told yes? Wow, I don't know. Um back in 1992 when they came up with this whole concept of reality television, uh we found out the year later that 2,500 people auditioned to be picked to live in a house with strangers. Uh, they picked seven. I did realize that I was one of the last people to get picked. Wow. And that made me the first black female to do reality television or this genre that they, it wasn't even called reality television back then. Um, it was a documentary. And then it, they put it into a category of reality television. So we found out the first year 2,500 people auditioned and by season four, it was 35,000 wow. trying to get picked to live in a house. That's so <laughs> I don't That's even amazing. know. That's just God. I, don't, I can't take no credit for that. That's the man upstairs. I say that because that's not an easy process to mm -mm. endure. And Layla Pruitt has been able to endure it. Amen. The question is, why? <laughs> why? Destiny. It's destiny. Why do you subject yourself <laughs> to all of this to rejection? The rejection. <laughs> why, Layla Pruitt? Well, um, the the first ever audition that I went out on, I ended up booking it, which is like oh. the <laughs> rarest thing ever. Yeah. The super even, owl. I don't even. I don't even. I don't even. I was. I was five, right? So I don't know nothing about acting, but I'm just in there having fun. And so I go on set, and I'm like, wow, like this is fun. I'm with other kids. It's for the Harry Harry Bo Gummy Bear commercials yes, yes. that I used to have little kids. I yes. was that little girl with the clipboard. Yes. And so um, you were adorable. Well, thank you, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. But but yeah, so I just I had so much fun on that set, and I was like, mom, like I need to keep doing this. And she was like, okay. And you know, with with a mama like mine, mm -hmm. with a family like mine, if you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it. Word. Yeah. So um, when I got on the set of Flight with Don che Don Cheadle and Denzel Washington, um, being exposed to that level of mastery, and I think I was ten or eleven. Wow. 
Um, and I would see, because I was there to have fun. You know, I, I liked being on screen and I liked seeing myself, but I was really there to have fun because I'm a kid, right? But then I see Denzel Washington remove himself from the talking and go in the corner and he's writing things down and talking to himself and he's in his own little world, but then he would get on screen and kill it. Mm. And I'm like, well, what's that about? You know mm, what I mean? I'm mm-hmm. like, well, how did, how did you, like, what what does that mean? So that's when I started asking myself questions about what a what an craft of acting is and what does it mean, like, to read the books? What does it mean uh, to have an objective or a motivation or an obstacle? You know, things like that um, that I didn't think about before. So that's when I started getting deeper and more serious into it. I saw, that's a great story, by the mm-hmm, way, um, mm-hmm. and that you got to experience that at 10. Um, I saw Countess Vaughn who did the uh, I talk, and I think while I talk, did the, the Parkers. Parkers. Yeah, with Monique. With Monique. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amazing series. It was the first time I ever did a TV series. Um, I was working at MTV, and they asked me to play a, a role, right? And I knew nothing about acting. You was Corey. I was Corey. That was my name, <laughs> Heather. Thank you. You like to remind me that. Uh, <laughs> but I watched Countess Vaughn just take the role. Nobody told me anything, by the way, because oh. it's kind of cutthroat on set. Sometimes. We'll talk Sometimes. about that. <laughs> and, and I watched her do the same thing. And she walked to her beats to the points of the scene where she was going to be at and did her lines with no one in front of her. Mm-hmm. And she went to the next beat. And the mm-hmm. way she did it was like someone was in front of her. Mm-hmm. And then we had a line, and she came to me while she was rehearsing. I didn't know to give her the line back or <laughs> just, hey, you, you're, you're awesome. I hit her with the you're awesome. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but I stole that. I took that yeah. from her. Yeah. So whenever I would do big interviews like I interviewed President Obama at the White House I remember ah! what Countess Vaughn did to get in her zone yeah right absolutely you got that from Denzel right and I still I still do to this day I'm, I'm I mean I feel like if you are if you're an artist that's trying to grow every time you have the opportunity to be on a set and be around people who know more than you mm-hmm. or who are, are, are doing what you want to do, you're going to be a sponge. So when I'm around people like um, Russell Hornsby or <sighs> Nicole Brianna White, like I'm going to sit down and listen and you know what I mean? And yeah. get to know them and get to know their stories um, and, and just soak up everything 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 can, yeah. we're talking bmf season three eight 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 seven four two three three four five you want to talk with layla pruitt hit us yes, up yes so happy to have you here layla you're just such a big ball of light sincerely your energy is hella contagious you so you're welcome <laughs> us talking about how um you take advantage of having these incredible actors around you and studying them and it also makes me realize that you can also study these adult storylines and kind of mm-hmm. apply them to yourself you're very very young young and I'm wondering thinking about BMF and all of the adult content there is in there you know we're talking about BMF empire obviously drugs has a lot to do with it infidelity has a lot to do with it right um family tension has a lot to do with it do you have these conversations with your own family like you're viewing so much adult dynamics I'm just wondering how do you process it all and what the hell do you look forward to getting older when you see <laughs> when you see all of these grown folks creating messes <laughs> sure well um i started on the show when i was 15 mm-hmm. so that's pretty young i'll be 20 in march so shout out to aries okay. mm-hmm. um all the aries out there but um yeah i i i <laughs> i had you know conversations and we've talked about it i think as an actor one of the things one of the skills that you sort of have to accumulate and and be able to learn is how to step into someone else's point of view without necessarily taking on their traits for yourself. And so reading these scripts and reading, um, uh, you know, the scripts and, and understanding who the family was, doing research and things like that, I said, okay, why? Asking yourself questions is a big part of acting. So why did they make these decisions? Not just that, oh my gosh, adult life is, is crazy, which mm-hmm. it is, but what what is the situation that put them there? Why is it that they had... Uh, that they had the thinking that this was their only option for them to be able to get out of the, a life of, of poverty in Detroit. Um, what kind of state of, of America are we in to where people think that this is their only choice yeah. or to where that is uh-huh. your only choice mm-hmm. to be able to gain money um, um, fast as a black person in America? So I started asking myself those questions, thinking critically and thinking logically about them, I think was instead of just like kind of 
like flowing into it and absorbing it and being like i guess i guess it's hip-hop now i guess we're in it I, you know what i mean right. so just sort of um asking myself why and asking myself questions removing myself from it and if it doesn't apply let it fly that's kind of the the school of thought that i take to it i, I love like it this. i like this layla pruitt is here we got um jay from charlotte on the line and we're gonna take more calls 888-742-2345 jay what up jay jay hold on jay let me uh, my, my situation. Torch, What's give me wrong my with your mouse? What's <laughs> going on okay, over there? Jay, Jay, what up, Jay? My mouse, <laughs> my mouse got caught in the trap. <laughs> have to say you ain't got a mouse. You got a hood rat. <laughs> I did. I was a cooperating. I, I did have a hood rat. <laughs> what a conflict, you know. Anyway, Jay, go ahead. Say, say hello to Layla Pruitt. Layla Pruitt, how you doing, young lady? I'm good. I'm great. How are you, friend? Well, I mean, if I was any better, I'd be you. Or they be two of me. <laughs> Jay, go ahead. What's I your question? I just to give you flowers. And we, I know I'm not a, not a question. I just wanted to give her flowers and say she's doing an awesome job on the show. And um, I'm just proud of all the, the, the young black females, man, that's just doing it real big out here, man. Yeah. Keep up. Keep I appreciate your work you. Stay focused. I appreciate it. And don't that. fall off. Thank hey, you so Hey, much. can I say one more thing, Sway? I, w- I called you guys before the, uh, last week uh, about my surgery when Sean T was up there. I, I, you told me to keep in touch with you, let you know how my surgery went. I tried to call last week. Yes, I, yes, I Sean T came week. up, and you were having the spine the, surgery. How'd it go? You, you don't mind, Layla? No, 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 okay, no. okay. Let, tell Layla how it went. <laughs> yeah, Layla, this is how my spine surgery went. It went. Everything went good, man. I'm home now, and um. I'm just rec- on the road to recovery right now, man. Yes, I was going to call tomorrow on Wednesday, Wednesday and tell y'all, but okay. I didn't want to do it all, all late on Layla's time, so I apologize. No, no, no. <laughs> Thank the Lord. I'm but, glad you're recovering. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a long process, four, six to eight weeks, but um, God got me. Amen. You know, there you I go, brother. I'll call back to the rest of the story, but real quick. I'll do you, that real quick was a long time ago there. You know hey, what? Jay, but we love Listen, you, brother. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. My, my wife was hating on me because I called. I, I woke up off, my, off the anesthesia. I said, can you call Sway? And I wanted to give you all a praise report. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> certainly a praise report, for that, sure. Yeah, we yeah, good, right? Crazy, Tell your wife, don't hate. She's a citizen. A sway in the morning. All right, Jay, you are too, Appreciate man. You, Thank you for your call. We're going to come back with Layla Pruitt. Layla Pruitt is here. Nicole Flinnery, the little sister. On BMF, and she's been doing an awesome job for years now. Yeah. <laughs> Layla's had a steady check for years. I'm not mad. <laughs> Let's talk about that. <laughs> Layla had a steady check. At what age did you start paying attention to the checks? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Because early on, you're just acting. It's fun. She said she was having fun. I yeah. think, I think... Probably around the time when I got accepted into college was when I started oh, really paying yeah. attention yeah. Uh, to the check, the Czechiana. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's probably what I started doing. Yeah, so she, <laughs> she attends Howard University, right? H-U. H-U. You know. We, we got a, <laughs> damn, you fully invested. <laughs> we got a, um, uh, a HBCU channel here. Mm-hmm. Hello. Yeah, so what channel is that? Channel 142. I'm going to have to go on channel 142. Yeah, go Shout check out. us out. We need you to rock. We might need to give you a show on that channel. Hello. Yes. <laughs> huh. Period. That's something we could think about. We love a hosting bison. <clears throat> right? <laughs> now, most actors come who come up here talk about the small percentage of folks who are actually making a good living. Mm-hmm. So it's important early on, especially when you start making money, that you, you, you're intentional with what you do with it. So Absolutely. what have you learned about that part of the business i've learned that it's very very important to pay attention to all of the different hands that your money goes through Mm -hmm. and all of the different um uh, proactivity that should be done on the front end um i know a lot more now after being on sets you know for years um I know a lot more now about what in what to do in order to manage my money and in order to help. And we have obviously I have my team and I have my amazing, amazing people on the set of being BMF um, who help, you know, with my contracts and everything. But, you know, people are people and humans are humans. Yeah. Things, you know, mistakes can happen. And so just to make sure that you're eyeballing everything and make sure you know what's going on and where that money's passing through. Make sure okay. Good. All right. Okay. Okay. Sound like Layla could treat for lunch. Right. <laughs> That's quite frugal. <laughs> How does it work for you going to school and, and being on one of the most popular shows on TV? Like, right. Man, look, yeah. Give me some. What's that like it's... on a day to, on a daily? But like, what's a day in the life on the campus being you? It's it's interesting because do you mean like in terms of like 
Hey, Layla. <laughs> People you don't know. We just watched last night episode. So that does happen. Okay. I always say there's like levels to it. So like okay. if I'm walking on campus, um, <laughs> there's sometimes where like people just kind of stare. And at first, when I came, when I first came to campus, I thought I had something on my face. You know, I'm from, I'm from, uh, I'm from Georgia, so people don't really be staring that much. And so I was like. Is there an issue? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> and so, but then I was like, oh, they probably are trying to figure out if they know me from somewhere. But then there's like another, like a the levels go up and up and up. And then like I had like a, a fine arts professor come up to me one time, <laughs> and like they, she called her her boyfriend and all that. And I was on Facetime with her boyfriend. And oh wow! It was very, it was it was very. I always accept it. I'm grateful for that because that means you know that I've been doing a good job, you know, and they feel uh, welcome enough to come up to me. Mm-hmm. But sometimes it's like I look a mess right now. Please, please open the camera. No selfie. No selfie, please. I'm in the calf and my hair is not done and it's Sunday and I'm trying to just get some food and get out of here. <laughs> I love that. What restaurants you frequent in, in Atlanta? Uh, in Atlanta? Yeah, I know you go to a soul food joint. <laughs> I was see. at Belinda's, I think, this past Sunday. You was in Atlanta this well, past uh, Sunday? Uh, when I came back from Mexico, I stopped and, oh, and stopped. saw my sister in Atlanta. Oh, you had a layover. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. What's Where are you eating your chicken? Where am I eating my... <laughs> Don't listen to that. Well, I'm actually pescatarian. Are you no. really? I am. Okay, that's what we doing. I am. So I, <laughs> I like, um, I like the vegan spots in Atlanta. Okay. They be a little pricey, but I do like the vegan spots in Atlanta. Any vegan spot I think is pretty, pretty good in Atlanta. Um, uh, 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 Pinkies uh, join. Um, well, that's slutty. Yes, vegan. slutty, slutty vegan. vegan. That's yeah. Yeah. yes, slutty yeah. vegan is too good. Shout out Pinky Cole. There it is. Okay, uh, Layla Pruitt is here. We got a lot of folks on the line. Uh, let's take a couple of calls. Have you want to say something? I you did. did. Okay. I, I, you look related to the women here. I was just wondering if <laughs> they were related. No, just no? just beautiful people <laughs> on oh, my yeah, team. That real. is Kay Williams, my publicist for the stars. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I was going to say shout out to them because they you do seem like you're surrounded Absolutely. by good, good people. And that's important. Shout out to 50 as well because mm-hmm. while mm-hmm. you're talking, I'm thinking about – when, when Tyler James Williams was here yes. last, he was yeah. here two weeks ago, he talked about coming into it very early. And we started mm-hmm. to talk about Tyler Perry and um, Quinta Brunson and um, Ava DuVernay and, and just so many people who are starting these production companies and these television shows and having so many people realize their dreams and, and working through it as well. Do you see yourself doing that, you know, one day, just getting maybe directing or writing your own scripts or producing? Absolutely. I um like I like I soak up information for acting on mm-hmm. set. I, I be on set in my days off, you Let's know, go. watching the um directors direct. We have different directors come in for BMF so I can watch different styles of directing and what it looks like from a director like Tasha Smith, who was Tasha. Um, yes. the first, Shout out to Tasha. The first season she did Tasha. her thing. Yes. Um but she was an actor first and so yes. I, I got to see how that worked. But then, you know, I also hang out one of my best friends on set is Spencer Hutchins. Come on, Spence. Who uh is our <laughs> Was our, was our first uh, camera operator, um, and he also DP'd this for season wow. three. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to him. He's so awesome. You're so from, I'm learning from so all, all different, different angles. angles. I would love to see myself acting, writing, directing, and producing in yes, the future. Yes, I love that for you. Layla Pruitt, so you know, from BMF, all the BMF fans, season three, every Friday. Make sure you watch a new episode. Algae from Detroit. Where it all began. Yeah. Where it all began. What Algae, up, what up? Hey, Algae. Yeah, hey, what up, though? Okay. Um, I, just want, I just want to give a quick shout out. You know, I love the show. You do great on the show. I wanted to just say a quick thing that, that the authenticity of the music of that show is so good. Absolutely. You know, like you, the, the way you, you, you they, the, whoever does the music um, direction um, has like mixes it from like B-52s to current hip hop. I mean, the hip hop at the era at the time yeah. is so dope. I think it's, it's amazing and it really makes it authentic to someone who grew up in Southwest Detroit. Yeah, a big part of the show is the the progression through time and how the family and the uh, and Meech and Terry change throughout time. So the music, everything from music <clears throat> to wardrobe to makeup, everything uh, follows that progression of time, and our set does really really well with that. Yeah, you guys do great. And and did you get schooled on any of the old music um, that that you know <laughs> we grew up on? Did you get did you get hit any new stuff like that? To prepare for Nicole, the first season, I listened to nothing but like. NWA 
Tupac. So like I know, and I know that's that's West Coast, but um, I, I listen to a lot of that sort of vibe of, yeah. of older rap music, and I know a lot of NWA songs probably more than I should. But yeah. Um, but yeah, like yeah, so it's helped me. Can a you lot. name some of those NWA titles? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> F the Police, uh-huh. um, Straight Out of Compton. All yeah, right. Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> I, I'll leave it at that because the, other ones, are, the other ones are pretty vulgar. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, where is she going to go from this? There's only one left. Express yourself. You could have named that, but that was later on. Matter of fact, let's get straight out of Compton. Um, Algy, thank you for your call, brother. You're a super citizen. That's my yeah. All right. Uh, real quick, Priscilla, what would you, in California, what would you like to say to our guests? Pris- Hi. Yes. Hey. Um, I was just calling to say, that I wanted to let her know that she's doing an amazing job, and it sounds like um, she's got a head on her shoulders. The fact that yeah. she could work with people like Denzel <laughs> and take in something at, so young at her age and learn from it and grow from it, I think is amazing. I don't think a lot of young women um, are encouraged to what is the word I'm saying? The way that you learn and the way that you're speaking to other younger girls, essentially, because I know um, my daughters have seen more of your show than me and they're teenagers. I know that sounds bad, but we're pretty open in our house and we talk about a lot of things and it's women, young women like you that, that give my daughters somebody to look up to. And I just kind of wanted to give you your flowers because I think it's amazing where you're going and, and where you've been. And I just want you to know that, you're do, you're kicking you're kicking butt, girl. You Thank are. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you so so much. Let's go. Good to hear, man. That's unsolicited, Priscilla. You're a citizen. Let's wait in the morning. Okay. Uh, listen, Layla. Uh, first of all, your your experience with Fifty. Have you did you did, <laughs> did you get one on one time with Fifty Cent? What, what was um, that we, like? We we did. We got a little bit of time. Um, when he was he was directing episode seven of mm-hmm. the first season, and he was he was very hands on. He was you know. Uh, the ep- the scene where Nicole was in the interrogation room mm-hmm. uh, with the police and, and her parents and you know trying to hold it down for her brothers, um, he was very hands on and I one thing that I remember about that that episode and working with him was that I never saw him walk he just appeared places and I <laughs> I am facing the door I swear to y'all I'm facing the door I'm look I'm I'm but I'm looking down you know and I'm I'm like in my character he appears right here behind my ear and he's like that was really next to the next shot can we try it like this? and i was like oh, oh yeah 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 for sure and then i didn't see him walk out he was just he was just like back there and he was like action i was like okay okay so that was like some something he something just funny appeared that just appeared he just appears a... places but um is that, is that a queens thing Heather? Just... i'm not from queens <laughs> no, don't do that it's jersey jersey no, 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 ask me about jersey no, only okay <laughs> That's great. That's great. Tracy. Layla, if you had to give maybe advice to parents with children that want to get in the business, they don't Mm want to be helicopter parents. They don't want because they're not in it. They also don't want to be bamboozled by things. What are some tips that you could give to parents? Um, To parents first starting out is I would say because I I have to give uh, advice from from the the kid. Exactly. (laughs) You know, the kids, the kids perspective. I think the best advice that I can give is try to find a balance between uh, pushing pushing your kid and pushing your child to do their best and to achieve excellence because acting is a craft um, it is something that you one must work at mm-hmm. you know just like a sport or any other extracurricular it's something that can be learned and can be worked at but also the balance between let that kid have fun mm. you know what yeah. I mean let yeah. them if they have you know if they have a stain on their shirt you know mm-hmm. and they want to go outside and play in the dirt like let them let them play in the dirt you know what I mean I my parents and my my family, did a great job of just making sure that I was a kid and they always were checking up on me and they always said even though I was very adamant about my love for acting they always checked in and was like in any time that you don't want to do this you know Mm -hmm. let us know and it's clipped and any you know or any time that you feel uncomfortable like we are there we are there we are there just being a constant support system for your kid Mm -hmm. um in terms of the business side I would say um, especially in Atlanta, there's a lot, a lot of opportunities right now, just like with acting classes or with uh, even forums for parents, Catapult Acting Studios in Atlanta, Georgia. That's where I used to do a lot of my acting training. Mm-hmm. Um, and they have things for parents to go and, and you know, learn about the, the industry and everything oh, like dope. that. So, 
So gotcha. yeah, you go go and look up you look up places to go where you can learn and just listen and, and you be a sponge as well because this industry is is a learning curve too. Mm-hmm. And what's the rule have to be? Rule dirty number one. Game. It's a dirty <laughs> game. Rule number one, right? It can be. It can be. Layla Pruitt, congratulations Thank you. on Yay! all your success. Thank you. I yeah. love it. Come on. Keep winning. Keep shining. Y'all Good can job. catch her on BMF every Friday <laughs> on Star. She got so much ahead of her. Amen. Come on. So much to do. Yep. And you can see her on the campus of Howard University. H-U. H-U. You know. All right, Shade 4-5. <laughs> Make sure you support Layla Pruitt.